Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to look at the year 9 and year 10 probability exam and hopefully you are able to do all the questions and be able to get at least 15 marks in this paper. So let's go. So the first question is in a game of lotto, 40 balls were numbered from 1 to 40 and were mixed thoroughly. Okay? And then it was released one by one from the container. Work out this probability for the first ball release. Okay, so the probability, they're asking you what is the probability that the number of the first ball is an odd number. So if you know, half of it is going to be odd. So 1, 3, 5 to 39 is going to be 20. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is going to be another 20. So the probability for the first question is 20 over 40. Or it's going to be half for simplicity's sake. Okay, so second question. What is the probability that the first ball is at least 35? So there are 40 balls. So 35, at least 35 means 35 is included. So it's going to be 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So the answer is going to be 6 over 40. And that will do. You don't have to simplify in a probability question. And the last question, the probability that the first ball is a multiple of 8. So it could be 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. There are 5 numbers. So the answer is going to be 4. 5 over 40, and you will get 3 marks if you get all the 3 answers right. Simple, isn't it? Great. Now we look at the second question. Second question is the probability from tables. And they in, uh, in probability, two main uh, items that will always appear in the probability question, either probability from tables uh, as well as probability in, uh, from probability trees. And they will go all the way from level 1, level 2, and level 3. If you understand this, that's fine. Okay, so the first thing you need to know when you have a table, you always need to add the row total as well as the column total. The, either the row or the column total will add up to the total of the number of people in the st study. Okay, so, so now once you have this table, okay, uh, this shows the type of sports that year 9, 10, 11 in Highland Boys High School indicate, indicated they enjoy playing the most in winter. 2011 okay so the question is very simple what is the probability that the randomly chosen student is a year 11 so year 11 the total is 330 so the probability is going to be 330 out of the total 1125 that will give you a one mark second question what is the probability that the randomly chosen boy enjoy playing hockey the most in winter so hockey you look at hockey hockey is 240 so it's going to be 240 our total is 1125 that will give you another mark simple okay the next question is a merit question in level one so it's going to be worth two marks in the year nine and year ten so what is the probability that a randomly chosen year nine boy so we are only looking at the year nine boy so there are 450 of them indicate they enjoy playing basketball the most in winter of 2011 so we are only looking at year 9, so basketball there are 40, so the answer is going to be 40 out of 415 because this is the conditional probability, the condition it must be a year 9, so it's going to be 40 out of 415. That will give you 2 marks in the exam. And the last question, what is the probability that a randomly chosen boy who enjoy playing soccer, we are only looking at a soccer boy, so there are 370 of them, uh, uh, is a year 11 boy. So soccer boy, they're 370, year 11 is 100. So the answer is going to be 100 out of 370. And that will give you another simple two marks. So a total of six marks in this paper. Not too bad, right? Great. Now we shall look at the next question. This is the probability section, okay? So in this school, Parkview High School, 60% of the boys are, are students of the boys. So event one is boys. And girls, so 60% 0.6, and the girls will be 0.4 because in a branch, these two must add up to 1. 60% boys, 40% girls, okay? Of the boys, 80% read the book, so 8 boys read is 80%, 0.8. Do not read is going to be 0.2 because if the readers is 0.8, 80%, the non-readers will be 20%, okay? 90% of the girls read the book, so girls read the book, 0.9. And do not read, did not read, it's going to be 0 0.1. Okay, so that's the three. And now they ask you, what is the probability is the girl and not read? 
do not read so it's going to be a girl and do not read do not read sorry so 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 is going to be 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 is going to be 0 0.04 okay so now the next question Calculate the probability that a randomly chosen from the school will read a book. So it could be a boy to read or girl to read. So going to be probability of read is going to be 0 0.6 times 0 0.8, the boy. And you add the girls 0 0.4 times the read 0 0.9. Okay. So it's going to be 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.48 plus 0 0.36. Put your calculator and the answer is 0 0.84. And that will give you the first and two marks, a total of three marks in this question. Okay, great. Now we are looking at expected value. If you do not know, expected value is probability multiplied by number of trials. Okay. In this case, we shall read the probability that Jack scored from a free throw in basketball is 6-7. So that is the probability. If he made 350 attempts this season, how many free throws we expect to score? So it's going to be probability is 6 over 7, and number of trials is 350. Put in your calculator, is 300. So he's going to score 300 free throws in a season. If the answer is a decimal or a fraction, you have to put it as a whole number because in, in, in the expected value, it has to be a whole number. It cannot be a fraction or a decimal. You either round up or round down the answer. Okay, great. Now, the last question is the probability tree again. As I said, probability tree is very important. So, a bag contain. Uh, so, the first bag is going to be red or blue. So, the second is going to be a red or blue, red. Or blue again okay so the first ball when you draw the chances the red ball is going to be three out of eight because there are eight bubbles together the red is three the blue is going to be five over eight okay so now if this is without replacement mean you take it out you don't put it back so the initially it, it was uh, three red and five blue if the first ball is a red this becomes a 2, okay? So now, to get the next red, it's going to be 2 over 7. And to get the next blue, is 5 over 7. Similarly, if the first red is 3 red and 5 blue, if the first ball drawn is a blue, it becomes 4. So now, it, the chances of a red is 3 over 7, and the blue is 4 over 7, okay? Great. Now, the next question. Now, what is the probability they're asking you what is the probability uh the, that each color marble is drawn provided they are drawn one after another without replacement so it could be probability of red blue or probability of blue red so you add them up together so red blue is going to be 3 8 times 5 7 so 3 8 times 5 7 and the same thing 5 8 time for blue, blue weight times 3, 7. So the answer is going to be 15 over 56 plus 15 over 56. Put in your calculator. The answer is going to be 30 over 56 and that will give you two marks in the exam. Hope you get it. So keep practicing and you should be able to ace this exam if you know your probability tree as well as your probability table as well as some probability concept. Take care and see you soon. Cheers everyone.